Now we're given then x cubed minus 4y squared equals 12xy and asked to find the gradient at the points where x is minus 8. And to find the gradient we need to differentiate this with respect to x. We need to find dy dx in other words. A common mistake by the way is to write dy dx equals. We're not in a position to do that. This is a typical question involving implicit differentiation. So what you need to do is write diff, diff for differentiate, diff with respect to WRT with respect to X. And just as a reminder about implicit differentiation, just come over here and I'll just remind you that when you need to differentiate with respect to X some function of Y, as we will have down here, let's just say some function of Y, then we have to use the chain rule. We can only differentiate the function of y with respect to y, so that's d by dy, but because I've introduced this dy, I need to put a dy back up here and then put back the dx. It's as if these two cancel. So we've used the chain rule then for differentiating some function of y with respect to x. So all I've got to do is differentiate my function of y with respect to y then and just tag on the end dy dx. So off we go then. Differentiating with respect to x, x cubed is simply 3x cubed squared I should say. Differentiating minus 4y squared with respect to x, we differentiate it first with respect to y which would be minus 8y, but don't forget to write dy dx at the end, so dy dx. Now, when we come to this term, however, what we've got is a product. And in order to differentiate a product, we've got to use the product rule. I hope you remember the product rule when you've got two parts. Let me just kind of underline it like this, okay? Remember, with the product rule, we tended to call one part, say, u, and the other part, v. And when you were differentiating this, it was one part, say, u, multiplied by the differential of the other part, dv dx. And then it was plus, the other way around, v times the differential of this part, du dx. All right, so doing this then, if my u is 12x, I'm going to put the 12x down put it in brackets, say, and I multiply it now by the differential of the other part, dv dx in other words, so I need to differentiate the y with respect to x. Differentiating y though with respect to x means I have to differentiate it first with respect to y, so differential of y with respect to y is 1, and then tag on the dy dx. Then it's plus, and then I have v, which is the y part, multiplied by the differential of u with respect to x. So that's differentiating 12x with respect to x, and that's going to be simply 12. So, basically then, I've differentiated with respect to x, but I now need to find dy dx. So, tidying this up, and let's say adding the 8y dy dx to both sides, and subtracting the 12y from both sides, what I get is 3x squared all right, minus 12y equals, and then I have this term, 12x dy dx, and then plus the 8y dy dx. Now I can factorize the right hand side here, so I have 3x squared minus 12y equals, I can pull out dy dx as a common factor, and also you'll notice 4 is a common factor between the 12 and the 8. So if I pull that out, the 4, okay, try not to write dy dx by the way at the front of a bracket, it's correct but it just isn't done, try and put your dy dx at the end of a bracket. All right? So we have 4 lots of 3x plus 2y 
and then the dy dx. All right, so we've got that done now. We're almost there at getting dy dx because all I need to do now is divide both sides by 4 times 3x plus 2y. So that means that dy by dx is going to equal the 3x squared minus 12y all divided by 4 lots of 3x plus 2y. So I have my dy dx and to find the gradient then when x is minus 8, remember when x is minus 8 we found that y was for instance 8 and also when x was minus 8 we found that y was also 16. So I need to put these two sets of values into dy dx to get the gradient. So when we put these values into here, you should find that we have dy by dx equals, I'll put the values in, but all you're going to need to do is just work it out on the calculator, say, so we have 3 times minus 8 squared minus 12 times the y value of 8, all divided by 4 times, I'll put some square brackets there, 3 lots of x, which was minus 8, plus 2 times the y value, which was 8. Close the square brackets off. Work that out, and what you should find is that you get minus 3. For this one, when x is minus 8, y is 16, doing much the same kind of thing again, dy dx would equal 3 times the x value squared, so that's minus 8 all squared, minus 12 times y, so that's minus 12 times the 16, all divided by 4 times, big square bracket, 3 times x, so 3 times minus 8, then plus 2 times y, so that's 2 times the 16. Close the square bracket off, work this out on your calculator, and you find you get 0. So, hopefully you've been able to follow that, and that brings us now to the end of part B and to the end of this question.